What do Sentinel pilots eat for lunch? Alien, PB, and J. Nice. Shibu Gaki City Battle 5. This is a boss battle. What does that mean? Sentinel Gladiator Kaiju will appear. All right. We stole them from we the kaiju. To deploy automated sentinels. They behaved as if they were Dimos. During the battle at Sector 2, units 1 to 11 were being remotely controlled by me. You piloted 11 units by yourself? At the same time? It wasn't efficient, and the D-forces were clearly influencing their processes and abilities. And that's why we directly control them now. Too many problems with automation. It wasn't really automation if he was controlling them. Eh, yeah, whatever. I thought they were destroyed in that battle. I don't know if it's that simple. They seem like pretty heavy units. And they've even got the composite ceramic armor. Uh-oh. So they're close quarters Dymos frontliners now. If we don't shut them down, the terminal won't last. An enemy sentinel gladiator nullifies all attacks that inflict damage of 300 or lower. Deliver attacks that deal high damage with each blow. Okay, um, doesn't Demo Blade, like, do an insane amount of small hits? To win this battle, you must destroy seven gladiators. <laughs> Alright, we're fucked! Demo Blade does 84 hits of 98. Okay, I'm really scared. However, it ignores armor! So maybe... Maybe that counts. All right, first of all, interceptor zoot. Backup deploy. Super long range missiles. 12 times 110. Well, that sucks. All right, let's actually see. Will it actually not do damage? <laughs> oh no! Uh oh. Uh -oh. All right, let's go over here. Back attack. All right, it said ignore armor, so this should be fine. Okay, it it did it it did something. All right, this should just kill it. All right, so double shot of the railgun is gonna do um like not that much damage, but I think it's all it's all we have, man. Yeah, oh man, this is bad. All right, what if we do a cyber attack missile? Can we hijack the AI with Sentinel? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be so good? We have a really, really bad team for this chat. This is a really, really bad team for what we're trying to do right now. Alright, you know what? Let's just defend. The interceptors are gonna kill it. Yeah. Alright. Oh man, five more. <laughs> it's so... What the fuck? What now? Uh oh. Looks like we have three more on the way. This is really bad. All right, that's a back attack. All right, go for it. So little damage, man. All right, I feel like it's not gonna kill the blue ones. Let's find out. Yeah, it did. It did okay, actually. <laughs> oh, no. All right, leg spike. Let's kill one. All right. This this is uh this is quite the uh the fucking uh, difficulty spike chat. What the hell? All right, let's do some more sentry guns. I'm going this guy. I'm in range. That easy. Yes. All right. All right, that's good. Fuck. 
Fucking hell, man. All right, let's... Oh, you're dead. All right. Okay, you know what? At least we did it, all right? I was worried we weren't even going to do it. I don't care what ranking we got. At least we got through it. I didn't realize how much I was relying on Demo Blade. Those were captured Sentinels. These Sentinels ID codes were all three digits. They were newly created as Dimos units. What? They were the same type as the number 12 I pilot. Edison was the one who put the first gens together. I just helped out. But these things were never meant to have a direct pilot. The original spec had them all automated. Explains why the enemy got a hold of them. That also means it's got a more unstable connection to its pilot. We had to put a limiter on its functions. Oh, God, I can take that off. Its true power is being restrained. What would happen if that limiter came off? Okay, Agata took took a beating here, man. I don't know if we're getting an S. Oh, oh it's over 10%? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! S. What's going on? Oh, you got me so good, you beautiful game. What the? All right, let's finish Ogata's. I guess when you put it like that. Oh, we're back here. Maybe you've got a point. Wait, what? I want to make sure you're gonna be safe, Kisaragi. Jeez, why do you sound so serious all of a sudden? If you're going back, then I'm coming with you. I got something I gotta do. Just wait right here a sec. Okino's here. Looks like it worked. Last time, I got out of this place by chasing him. Oh, this is the plan. Okay. Oh, is this when Yakisoba Pond Angel came and shot um, Hijiyama? Hijiyama? What's wrong? Can't move, huh? Over here. Hurry. She's more badass than I am. Okay, so the cat is definitely not working with Okino. I thought Okino was connected to the cat. So there's at least two different factions that work here, maybe even three. At least. It could be way more than that. There's... Uh, it's gotta be more than that. Alright, so whatever whatever the cat is. And then Okino seems to be doing their own thing. And then... I don't think there's any relation between either of those groups with Morimura's group. Final battle. Well, this was a flash forward. Wait, hold on, if that was a... Wait, if he was in a memory, and in the memory, the kaiju attack, how does he have a memory of the kaiju attacking? What? What is this? Our timing sucks, huh? We hit our operating limits at the same time. What about the others? They're not doing great. Even Mura-kun. Mura? Number 19, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call my sentinel again. Mirakun! Reporting in. Number 19 is taking heavy damage. Sorry, I'm shifting out. They never need to rest. The assault never lets up. Everything's falling apart. I let down our defensive line. Please. Uh, we did plenty, then. Be okay. Let 
Shut up and shift. Time. Let's go. Come on. I'll go. No. Your sentinel's already taken a beating. I'll handle this. Didn't you just dismount? You're already at your limit. I don't give a shit about my limits. I love you. And that's why I gotta break them. Really? I... We didn't buy that upgrade though. Oh, yours is on your ankle. We didn't buy that upgrade. Ooh. So that that was all of it okay cleared all right well i think i can see the cliff chat okay all right all right let's go to tommy stranded day two miwako usami chan this is bad what's up we're out of food we're gonna have to eat ryoko shinanome senpai she's gone i ate her what I ate her. I... I ate her. <laughs> I, I think that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the most I have ever wanted to legitimately just like have like uh, the capability of understanding Japanese more than to my head. So I could see if if it is actually that awkward and cringe in in the original like Japanese because I can't imagine it is. What the fuck was going on in that scene, man? Like fucking Zeta the Chronicles. <laughs> like, what the fuck? How far could she be? <laughs> Let's try checking the school. Senpai might have had the same thought. Yimachi Sakura High School. The north building's gone. And the schoolyard's totally caved in. That thing's a construction machine for developing planets, right? Where are you going? Would it dig up a hole for no reason? Yes. Maybe there's something down there. Oh, well that was easy. Shinonome Senpai. Do 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 Hey, wait! That can't be good. It's that android from before. Is it broken? Guess there's our answer. Run! Oh no! Serves you right. Does it? Hey, uh, thanks. Who are you? The name's Sekigahara. You're Tomi Kisaragi, right? Didn't know any of you were left. Shinonome Senpai is. Well, she was there. Dude, it was just a second ago. So Ryoko-san's here too. Are you with Morimura? Maybe. I mean, you've got to be from the future, right? Yes. Quite a ways away. Now listen here. How do you know Kisaragi? <laughs> That's... A drone. It's a probe that found you two on its patrol. To think you were still here. I honestly didn't expect it. You need to go to the underground gate. I'll take you there. The primary shifter should be there. The other gates all connect to that one from afar. 
They're merely access points. That's where we need to go? Correct. Is this that robot you were talking about? Anyone else feel like Tomi and Ogata aren't really asking uh, Sekigahara enough questions? Or any questions at all? Like... Especially Ogata? Hmm. Ryoko-san. So you still don't remember. They're taking advantage of your hazy memory. Stop this. They really are. Get him. 426. Your time is up. How can you can control the robots? Okay. They're kind of to beat me down there. They're kind of shit. That quadruped's got a crane equipped. A crane? That does sound like construction equipment. We'll use it like an elevator. It'll take us all the way to the bottom. I wonder if this was supposed to be some sort of like, like training to, to learn how to use the kaiju. And that's why there's like a key to control them. And it's like, so when they arrived at the planet, they would know how to, how to use them to, to, to conduct the terraforming. But then something fucky happened. Somehow the emperor returned, like something like that. All right, that's, that's the first thought I've had that would explain why there would be a, a key or whatever. But like, doesn't explain why they're fighting though. Ryoko-san, wait. Just talk. What in the fresh hell is this? Was it always glowing before the floor and everything? Is this is this when it's active? I hate it when characters just don't talk. Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Alright, that's not confirmed. Okay, cool. So there are, like, also robot versions of everyone? Or AI versions? Huh. What could this be? Yeah, let's just touch it. Sounded like um, Emaguchi, the, the the girl is talking to him through the TV. It also sounded like Iori to me as well, though. So I'm not good at recognizing the voices. That voice from the TV screen didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? No, not really. Hey, just now, did you call that person Kisaragi? Kisaragi is. The control system for Sentinel number 16. Why do we have the same name? Because... He is you. Rather... A different you. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. Give it another try. So do they each have like a like an AI version of themselves to help interface with the Sentinels and sometimes that can get split up or severed in some way? Seems like Mayura has one right now and then and then Kisaragi has one too. What does that mean? This place is 
not recognized in any era. This is bad. This is bad. I'm being denied access to all sectors. It's universal control. It's trying to get rid of me. What's universal control? What's this universal thing? Universal control. It's here. Where the primary gate is housed. Okay, yeah, what is it? This underground mainframe monitors the world. Okay. Alright, just glossing over that. Alright. Okay, so he doesn't know either. Alright, cool. Could have just said that Sekigahara. Could have just said, I don't know. But alright, whatever. Oh yeah, Miwa! Okay. Oh no! Shit. They're over here too. Stop. The command's not working. I'm out of ammo. We need to shift. Gather close. Now! I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet! You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home. M Miwako? Uh oh. Tell me, who the hell is Miwako? Who are you gonna talk? What are you talking about? Never was a Miwako. We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako! It's no use. She's not like us. The people here, everyone in the city. They're not real. We're all managed by that computer underground. Isn't that right, Akun? Mm. To make sure no one impacts this world. To make sure no one finds out the truth. Universal control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. What? She knew too much. What? She was too powerful. Alright. I think I see some of the grass at the edge of the cliff, chat. I see a little bit more. Yeah, I'm feeling Amaguchi. Alright. Yuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. What, you just came back? And beyond that, nothing. Aha! Yuki-chan. <sighs> Quit following me. Whoa. Let's go to that tunnel again. Yeah. We gotta get it on video. Send it to TV stations. Blow the lid off this story. Come on. If that was real, we gotta tell everyone. Come on, dude. Slow down. Come on. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Hold on. How could you possibly? What bigger fish? Yeah, I agree. Because what we found was a huge fish, man. What's bigger than that? <sighs> I got detention. I don't want to get kicked out over this dumb crap. Yuki, the school's not real. I tell someone and they dump me in a psych ward. So what can I do? Amiguchi-kun. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Kurabi-kun. <laughs> Alright, I really like this. This is cool. Could we hang out again today? Yeah. Why don't we go to your place this time? Ah! Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but, well, right now... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I want to talk to him. Where is he? I have a guest staying over. The things are a little- Can I skip? Oh, I can skip because I saw it on the other, uh, other path. That's neat. Alright, let's go. Let's go, bro. Alright, who's playing the game? Oh, no one's playing the game. It's playing itself. Done already? You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? 
Can I skip here too? Yeah, this is really cool. I like this a lot. <laughs> Same place. Nice. Miyuki. Inaba. <gasps> oh, time for me to talk to my imaginary friend. Maybe I could tell Karabe Kun about the TV stuff? He's one of the only people who might believe me. Hey Joe, food question for you. Let's say you go to a nondescript sandwich chain and you have a coupon for a sandwich. They make you the sandwich and then ask you to scan the coupon, at which point you discover the coupon is expired and you can't use it. The coupon is was close to 50% off. Do you still get the sandwich? Absolutely, I still get the sandwich, yeah. Of course I do, yeah. I'm not gonna go through the, the embarrassment of I just made a mistake and didn't check. And now you just made the sandwich for nothing, rung it up, and now I'm just gonna waste it by just walking away. I, I mean, I like to eat food. Uh, sorry, I like to waste food, but not that much. Like this, this is a this is a, a me problem. Yeah, I still gotta take my L. Yeah, you gotta take the L. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta take the L. Before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Ooh. Oh yeah. Wait, hold on, what? Yeah. For you and me. What? Is that different? Memory transfer complete. Ooh. Man, the robot android faces permanently look like they just saw Mori Mura walk into a room, huh? Damn. Now. Open your eyes, Juro. Ooh, it's Juro. Maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. Do you recognize me? Tetsuya Ida. Or at least an older version of him. I see him has gone a long time. You always seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year we enter the 22nd century. Is Juro really 426? How do I look now? Oh, this is horrific. No arms or legs. Not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there at least. Ooh. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero. Brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're gonna have a little chat about your research. You were testing an unorthodox function for the interlocitor. Downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off. So I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success. But all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Ran out of hard drive space. Happens all the time. Did you hit some snag with the method? Uh-oh. Pain receptor time. Okay. Maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Inflict pain. Security. <laughs> You've been bringing me back and killing me for a long time. You even taught me to tell you how to interrupt the D Force's production. Must have been painful if you got that out of me. Handling the Dymos code is dangerous, 
you know. How far back did you look? I really need to keep an eye on you. Dude, how is how is what is this? The shittiest James Bond movie? How have you hooked him up to the fucking internet? Like, keep him local. Like, what? What do you Ethernet cord in the back of his head? Like, what, what are you? What are you doing? Like, what? So that's your process. Copy me into this husk of tin. Then it wastes me once you have what you need. You're a dangerous man. Better get rid of you early this time. Can't afford the risk. Ida-kun. What's wrong? I found out from Morimura-san. Uh-oh. You're trying to transplant my mind, aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. The, the, the she's not dead then, is she? So why do you have to do it? What are you talking about? Ida, what the fuck? <laughs> your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? <laughs> you know she's dead. The girl you're talking to. She's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. <laughs> Juro just hanging out in the background listening to this. <laughs> Hacking his way through the mainframe. Here I go. <laughs> Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. You know I love you. But I can't support you. I can't support this. <sighs> That explains why you woke me up. Who's that? Uh, well... I can tell you your biggest failure right now. Uh-oh. Just standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. He's right. God damn it. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. He could have gotten everything he wanted. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. Tough. What? We're both his means to an end. Oh, okay. Tools to be used and thrown away. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. <laughs> Waifu of Theseus. <laughs> nice. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Huh? They're mine now. Paranoia getting to you. You didn't need to keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or... Maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. Uh, Why are we letting him cook? I've heard enough. Yeah, okay, thank you. No need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here... We're the same. just data. Yeah. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life. Just like you did to me. I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. That's right. Better watch carefully. Never know what might happen. Is he gonna jump into her now? There. Deleted. That should do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. Please, please talk with his voice now, please. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Alright, she's not saying anything. 
data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Oh. Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. And by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? What happened? Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, son. Sorry. But I need this body more than you do. Alright. They're just riffing over there, huh? I must have fallen asleep watching a video. Whoopsie doopsie. Looks like Karabe kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Uh, the dream just now. Feels like it started off the end of the last one. <sighs> you saw the video. Hey! Man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still... the same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Past? Wait, that happened in the past? You're still talking about that movie I watched, right? Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff, too? He's... He's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea. He doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. <laughs> he doesn't know... Th or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. Hmm. So Karabe-kun's watching the past, too. Is that what these weird dreams are? Yes. So, wait. All these dreams look pretty futuristic. You're saying they were in the past? I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Is there a plan? Okay, so what's this plan? <sighs> Come on, what have you got cooking? <laughs> Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't going to be some big evil scheme, right? It's not. It's called Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. Okay. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Whoa. Man, they're really teasing us out, huh? You know what? Let's jump over to Ryoko. Easy. Hey, more Mira. Take your time. Do you know where you are? About Mr. Ida. Where is he? He's been missing ever since the battle. You don't remember? Wait, what? 
Okay, exit the hallway to the, no. to the staircase, right? What? This way? Oh, the schoolyard vending machines. All right, the, the, the stairs are there, I think. The stairs the stairs go there. Shit. Yeah. Do you like sweets, Senpai? I'm sorry. Uh, senpai. Oh, no! Like sweets, Senpai? Oh, no. What sort of one But I took my pills. Senpai? Okay. Empty cafeteria. Yuki? Empty. Shinonome. What are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Uh, it's empty. Four Eyes has something on you. Okay, where are we go? Oh, I fucking. Oh my god. Okay, so let's not take a pill. You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? What in the hell? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. When the hell does this happen? Okay. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Yes. Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Ugh. But... Whoa. You having feelings for another girl? Oh, damn. I can't accept that. Uh-oh, shiny anime glasses. You were just going to throw us aside, like nothing. Also, you could have a do-over with her. Shinonome-kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. How the f hell does, like, I'm a Gucci grown-up lab coat version turn into this? What? This doesn't feel right at all. Yeah. You're confused. I am, yeah. Stun mode deactivate. Uh-oh. Wait, Shinonome-kun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. Deserved. No, there's no way. I shot him? Yep, then you booked it out of there. Anyways, Four Eyes wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... Is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. The music. No. It's hard to imagine he's okay after that. His head was just gone. It's one of those slow explosions too that we got to see all of his skull fragments shoot off and it looked like he had some metal in there at the same time. It's kind of weird. I don't know what to tell you. It was, it was really drawn out. It, lo it looked like an Italian kitchen back there. You know, it was really bad. Might even be dead. Why'd you do it? Recording of what? Me. No. Stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. Uh, accessing Mr. Ida's research. <laughs> Mr. Ida's log, day one. <sighs> All right. I've started this video vlog just to tell you exactly how much I really hate Ryoko Shinonomi. 
She's so annoying. God, she never leaves me alone. Alright, day two. Another day of Ryoko Shinonomi just fucking follow me around like a fucking lost puppy. I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> Eat a slog, day 75. I can't take it anymore. Just fucking Ryoko just... <laughs> I've, just I've decided to use her instead of just going along with it. Here we go. <laughs> is from three years ago. Hmm. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Posen. Good thing I had my gun. Yeah. That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. This isn't a surveillance camera. This is Ida's I Hate Ryoko log. A surveillance footage from when I came here last. Hmm. Norimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. Oh, it's so it's it's a podcast about how much they hate you. <laughs> She's the worst, okay. right? Yeah. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage. <laughs> you, you see how she eats too? It's so annoying, right? Yeah, it is. Jamie, pull that shit up. <laughs> look, look, look at how she eats spaghetti. It's terrible. I know, man. It's so bad. <laughs> I'll find out who deleted the locks. All right, let's watch. I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. Why is his voice different? He made that body just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another right away. Okay. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the Compatible. By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be, the UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Yuko, look at me. Anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomikisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Iakun. Tommy. Please, put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. Damn, he really loved those streams, huh? It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over? From the beginning. From that 
day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. Delightfully de devilish, Setsuna Ida. She'd never have to know. Okay, this was the log that we saw? Really? What do we know about this self-defense mechanism? Universal control oversees the world through the terminals. But the defense functions refuse to respond when the terminals are under kaiju attack. The mainframe would go down without even noticing it was compromised. And Operation Aegis is about covering for that weakness. The Deimos attacks open up vulnerabilities so they can attack the terminals. We exploit those same vulnerabilities with some low-grade hacking to provoke the terminal's security. And trigger the defenses ourselves. The Aegis system activates and the terminal locks out the Kaiju intrusion. If the threat of the Deimos is too subtle for detection, then we simply present a more obvious one. So, it's a ruse! Like sounding a fire alarm with no fire to get people bounding out of their bunks. But the but there really is a fire though. Like you should be doing this ahead of time, but then there wouldn't be combat. This is dumb. I don't think this makes sense. Familiar shenanigans. Isn't that why they used to call you a no account rascal? Ooh. At any rate, that's why we can't activate it until the D forces are close enough to the terminals. Oh, okay. Natsuno did just get a um a thing you know what, let's do it a small puncture on my cheek looks like i got stabbed by a needle i must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom but why can't i remember anything about it did i was i captured and had my memories erased <laughs> why would you jump to that i mean you're right but what if they implanted something in me <laughs> I'm probably overthinking it. Yes, this this is the time you're overthinking. AJ, what kind of robot are you anyway? I am an AI, fully integrated into a Sentinel. There was an incident. Incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miyurakun called you a a piece of Sentinel technology. He wasn't wrong then. There's something I really gotta do, so... You first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Ugh. Maybe a stray cat got in. <laughs> Imagine caring no. this much about school. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> What have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for memories after I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone. I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. 72% of them have been deleted. They've been tampered with twice, possibly more. By who? Unknown. Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. Hide. What do we do? Who are they? Unknown. They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide quickly. What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. The damage this procedure does to the brain is lethal. That program, the one that severs the code, that's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right, Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Two loops ago? Hmm? Two loops ago? I've forgotten. We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. Uh-oh. Where did you get all this information from? <sighs> from the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? 
Yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Now, let's go. Wasn't that Chihiro-chan? And Gojo-senpai was with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? <laughs> and there was something different about her. Goto-senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. She is. Oomphy Boomphy, PhD. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Apparently. I predicted all of this. Somehow. <laughs> Alright. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.216 million data units were found. Alright, that's not a lot. If I were to trace every unit, I need about 30 million data points. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a lot. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, the coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters. BJ. As well as two numerical values. It's it's BJ. BJ seventeen. Back when we first met, I just assumed BJ was your name, but maybe. BJ. <laughs> That's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. It was something like... BJ11... BJ11-5. I've located it. Oh, right! And? And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. So? Where is it? At an altitude of 500 kilometers. No way! So, it's up in the sky? Yes. In an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Orbit? Like, in space? I cannot access it from here. Why not? Let's go. Where? To space? Yes. To the place Renya Goto mentioned. The UFO. Let's go, Myura. Uh, yeah, let's go, Myura. Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. Yeah. It reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book. What's that? The idea of two similar parallel worlds. It has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Are we morbing instead of time traveling? Miyura-kun. Natsuno-san. Perfect timing. I was just about to go looking for you. Same here. I've been worried about you, Miura kun Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? What? That might be a little tough. We met him already, didn't we? Goto Senpai has him in back on campus. I asked around and no teacher knows where he lives. He lives at the school. Oh, Natsuno chan. Ah, uh, zombie! Ryuko, you have a picture of Goto Senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? Ooh. Hey, not so loud. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. Cute guy. How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. Oh, there you go, okay. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. Chihiro? It really is you. 
Isn't it? Please say something. I found this. It survived the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big... Big brother. Don't lose it again, all right? She pretending right now? Okay, so she had she had the rabbit in the last scene. So this was this that came after this. Did she have the rabbit in her bag when they were in wrecked to 2025? Hmm. I won't. Chihiro, it really is you. I'm so relieved you're safe. <laughs> I suppose it's true. It's not like my memories were displaced. My blissful dependency is your little sister. Oomphy boomphy activate. It's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. Chihiro? This world is imperfect. Are you okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. <laughs> I'm Chihiro Morimura. Behold. Morimura? You're the one who insisted on keeping that a secret. Yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone. Wouldn't you, Goto-kun? What the hell did you do to Chihiro? <sighs> I don't appreciate the hostility, but what you see here is Chihiro in her original- Bruv, are you seriously being like, you don't talk to me that way? This is a really fucked up situation that Miura is in, and understandably, he's a little upset. Are you- are you serious? You guys are handling this so badly. What the fuck? Like, like actually hit him and just take your little sister away would be the appropriate response here. But you guys are like making this so much worse than it needs to be. Like, what the fuck? No state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up. Listen to your big brother and come with me. We're going. Where exactly? Back to 1945, where no one's left. Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. If we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me, remember? So please, cooperate. <sighs> I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <sighs> Don't even bother. Get out of my way. Chihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. Of course. And I highly doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... Hey, Sekigahara. Should you decide to cooperate, let me know. <sighs> Sekigahara. Did he travel through time too? Is that how he got here? Oh, that's the end. It's not the end. The military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko-san. I can't believe she's a spy. They seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. Sekigahara-san, please, I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents aren't really my parents, and that I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? I don't know why she'd lie, but I think that explains the dreams I keep having. When do, when do we get, like, chapters with her? Like, holy shit. She's tampered with your memories. Don't listen to a word he says to Mao-san. 
we should just turn him in. Keitaro-san, please. I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in Keitaro Miura? How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. <laughs> the future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. <sighs> his consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. Alright. Then, Keitaro-san is... A fake! One and the same. I'm taking you in. Don't move. Uh, Sekigahara-san! You bastard! Like you said, I'm out of my mind. Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak. Dun dun dun! Ooh! All right, we we unlocked it. Yes. All right, but we're gonna do someone else. Oh, going over to I. Yeah, let's go over to I. So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. You have two new messages. Hello, A. It's me. Hey. Uh, turns out I was wrong. There are no outcomes where this ends well. My advice to you is to stop living in the past. You're responsible for your own future now. Hey, it's me. Well, you. Disregard that. I imagine you're pretty confused right now. Hearing this message, unable to remember a thing. <sighs> so, I've entrusted a message to a good friend of ours. If you seek him out, You'll likely find him with Natsunomi Nami. <laughs> Looks like I'm out of time. Above all else, finish the job. It's for my... for your sake. Sake. Understood? Yes. Would the message service, when you call, would you get the messages in the order that they were recorded? Or would you get the most recent to least recent? Depends on how they did it in 1980s Japan. Well, luckily, we have all of the 1980s Japan uh, experts in the world in chat. How would they do it, chat? Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunomi Nami? Yes. I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. Why do you like her? That's... Do you both know each other? I can't remember. She's the one who delivered that package to me. Right, yeah. The one that contained the message to myself. Thank you for the reminder. Looks like she goes to this school too. <laughs> um. Natsunomi Nami. Bastard! Stay the hell away from Nachan! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Thought it was you! Stop this right now, you two! Fine. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... That's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? 
That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. Oh, okay. They're the ones who had it say all those things. Oh, is there a real message on the real BJ? So those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Peta. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this. But you're a terrible liar. I guess so. Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? You never asked. You took pity on me. Some things are best left unknown. Okay. I disagree. Fucking robot Miura talking like a magic eight ball over here. Like, all right. I should know about my own past. Science no point to yes. Please, Miura. Show me the logs from 2188. Who's the target? The leading figure in nanotech research. Shihiro Morimura. What? Hmm. She's a former executive of Newman Inc. After she left the company, I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. Shikishima's project. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Newman Inc. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly. And I need every last detail on my target. Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find a research lab there. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. I'm fairly... I'm close to sure, but I'm not sure. But, like... Sekigahara's portrait, that was, he was older there, right? Like, he's younger right now, or...? Morimura's that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly... What the hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm... an assassin? Yeah, you... Morimura. You knew that. So I really did do it. No. I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? That can't be right. We done? Cliffhanger? No! There you are. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. So tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? You. Someone did his research. Ooh. Your sentinel was the source of the infection. Uh-oh. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, 
Shihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on. But it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. Okay, what does that mean, though? If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. Uh-oh. And we can't let that happen. Unfortunately, your city is doomed to forever be in ruins. Not if we loop. If we're unable to loop anymore, yep. that is. <laughs> This world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. It's the present. They were created when you arrived from another world. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. How'd you do that? You're looking rather pale. Perhaps you should take your pills. Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonomi-kun? You and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However... There is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? <sighs> yeah, why not? So then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. <sighs> I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world. So I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's the only one who can track and activate it. For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Hang on, I never- To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. Alright, so how does the world get recreated? I feel like you're not asking the right question, Sakigahara. Hey, 
see Miura? I'm glad you're okay. Liar. Ooh. All right. Amaguchi's probably got one more left in him before. Oh, Yuki was in the last scene. Cool. Let's go, Yuki. I was let go. They're probably still watching me, just waiting to use me. Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Just got here. You enjoying the game so far? Yes, very much so. It's very good. That thing I hid. I need to take a closer look. Ugh, it smells like mold in here. Man, she has such a Chad walk, doesn't she? Like, look at this code. Dun, 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 dun. It's in here. It's somehow able to project things. How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. He's so cute. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Cute guy. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. <laughs> a Seki Gahara. More like the Seki Gahara. I don't think I'm that bad. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Activate AI. Miura. Do you know who I am? You got your memory back. Where am I? Wait, what? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Activate gate. The hell? Don't move. Executing shift. Yeah, okay, clock. How long has Nachan been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. But Seki Gahara, you're forgetting. It's not Sean. She's really dumb. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, she wouldn't be able to open the cans. Oh, oh no. I detected no signs within a five-kilometer range. If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building, or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. What do you mean? Like, what, we're gonna we're gonna more back to the school now? What? Uh -huh. How does that work? Back to the roof? Ditch ditcher again? What? We just we said no and left. We couldn't find not John. What? Uh, my my best friend's his childhood is stuck in the future, and I'm literally the only single person in the whole entire world, according to my knowledge, that can go to the future to see where she is, because we're the only ones that know that she's lost. But, you know, need to take a break. Better go back home and, and make sure that my cover at the high school isn't fucking blown and do a full fucking school shift and then go back for another shift in the fucking 2060 mines to see if I can fucking find her. Just stay there and look for her, you monster. What are you doing? It's implied they were looked for her for a while. Yeah, they didn't look for her long enough, though. You want to know how I know that? Because they didn't fucking find her. Oh, Takamiya-san. I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Oh, uh, yeah. Kamala-san. I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? You need to check back in with me, understood? God damn, man. God damn. Morimura gave this note to me. Oh. She wants me to do something. And the first step is talking to Aiba. Alright. Sorry, Natsuno, you're gonna have to wait. There's something I want to check on the way home. 
come with me? Certainly. Right. That's very pretty. We're gonna push her off the, the bridge? I just wanted to check something. So, I ditched class this morning. I went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erica Iba. In the hospital. Ugh. The real Iba has been sick. Confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamau. Is Tamau your real name? Lamau? Tamau? Huh. Natsuno's dying, y Yuki. She's dying. Oh, well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamau Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? Yes. You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Ah, oh, Seki Gahara. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh! What are you doing? Is that Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her. An android. <laughs> Squeaky chair, squeaky life. Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but... They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Yes, literally, yeah. Because the only person who always seems to be around me... ...is you. Oh, Takamiya-san. Don't get so worked up. Just just a string of red lights around us all of a sudden? Like, what's going on? I Rush have no hour over? What you're talking about. Did, did ultimate control make the car stop running so we had a better shot here? Like... You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamau Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> well, this is annoying. <laughs> I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, oh, huh? Man, better and better. I suppose this time I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. <sighs> so this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. Wait, and they just let you stand here cooking? Okay. I guess they stopped the cars. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Yes. That's the reason why he's insane. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar Project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now, but the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. It's not a sacrifice. 
They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Oh, damn. Oh, who do you jump to this time? Anyone a robot? Hey, you, you a robot? You a robot? Am I a robot? You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. He jumped. Okay, you guys suck. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. And yet... You know what? I'm so sure of that. There's not even a reason to go down and search to make sure that the body's still crumpled up down there. Let's just all go home. What's that? Police officers, you want to go down and search for the body? No, call it off. Save some time. Go home to your families. There's no way! There's no way he could have survived that fall. Just go home. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Oh, never mind. Okay. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Damn. Understood. Aiba. Okay, do we want to do we want to enhance that to see what we get when we do it? Let's do it. These are fun to unlock. Okay, precision machine cannons armament has been unlocked. Attacks Kaiju within a thin area in front of the Sentinel with machine cannons and ignores armor. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's really long range. Holy shit, that's way better than I thought it was going to be. Is that better? I think that might be better, right? Is that really good? Oh, you can move too. Oh, damn, you can move and use it. This is really good. Alright, that move is fucking amazing. Holy shit. Oh man, I'm in love with this ability. Holy shit. That's so good. You, we can get, unlock this and see what we get. We get high energy pulse laser. Fires laser beam at Kaiju within a wide area in front of Sentinel, ignores armor. All right, this seems pretty good. Let's get it. All right, high pulse laser. Oh man. Oh man, we didn't try this yet. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, that was that was nowhere near as good as I thought it was going to be. Sorry, I forgot it was Megami. I should have known. Let's go Natsuno and Emiura. Let's start with Natsuno. Oh, Ryoko's here. A second year student. This should be very close to the end of her timeline. Did you need something from us? <sighs> Us? Like the track team? There you are. Hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl... Was she looking for you? It seems likely. She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. More information on technology and the future. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but it was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. What? What did they call it? Where they're like, oh, they took away M Miwaka or whatever. Universal control. So like universal fucking object. Universal focal object? No, it's not gonna be object. Okay, so I don't even know if we're actually time traveling anymore or maybe the only time travel is happening is the looping but even that seems like it's like a it's like a um a restart thing how does that work how do people survive from loop to loop where are they hiding 
Is it just like nano machine memory downloads or? What's the matter? It is sealed off, just like Sector 5. So we can't go today? There is an opening in Sector 3. We may be able to go from there. What's the clock? Was it Tetsuda Ida or was it Grown Up Goto or whatever that said something about how, like, like I'm trying to half around. I was really tired yesterday's stream, sorry. I, it was already kind of building in, 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 my, in my mind palace how it felt more like there were, like, departments of different areas instead of it. And they're just kind of jumping between them. What's the clock then? There's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, class 2A. Oh man, this is a good condition. This picture, that's the girl I saw in the track room. Stop right there. <gasps> Shinonome senpai? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? The heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life. Don't play dumb. Don't play dumb. <laughs> my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you. And Tetsuya Ida. Whoa. Oh man, what's Miura cooking? You're not taking BJ. <laughs> Out of my way. Oh, is this how we get stranded it's for a freezing. couple days? <gasps> yeah, let's just do that stretch. All right, cool. Wait. Had to reuse that animation. Where am I again? Uh, oh crap! That's right. PJ. <laughs> PJ. <gasps> PJ. The way things are. It's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Uh oh. Yuki Takama Takamiya's not chan event. All right. Where's where's that? All right. Oh, oh, we can we can do that. Hmm. You know what? I'm doing it. I think this is her last scene. I think this is going to be the whole thing. This will take us 100%. We're done with Yuki. Nope. Never mind. A criminal by the name of Juro Izumi who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. Who wants to shoot up with nanomachines? Tommy Robot, who's 426. The cat, who's working with 426? Wait, how many 426s are there? Because I know there's two at least, unless there's a jump that happens to the timeline that the robot ends up going into Juro Karabi, because because that's Izumi too, right? Could there be multiple? I guess there could be. I also wonder who who we've been playing as. That's a robot, and ha and we just haven't known the whole time. We are here. Okay. Okay. Did you just get shot? By Megami? Sekigahara, what happened? The nano machine separation inside the brain is progressing. Oh, okay. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. Oh, no. <gasps> um, this is hey. bad. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? 
It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh... Wait... Wait, hold on. How do you get back? Did I miss something? How did... How did... BJ get back? Or is this a different BJ? Ryoko brings... Brings BJ back? And hides it? Maybe? Something like that? Then forgets? I mean, something, something like that, right? That's possible for sure. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides... The black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. What is this thing? Take it with you. Cute gun. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Oh, wait, what? Yuki, you're really fucking aggressive to him after this. Does something go bad in here? Like. So, where is Nachon? Southeast, 3.2 kilometers. What the hell, Matt? There is an unusual concentration of androids. They're back. Oh, they don't care. Okay. They won't come in here. Why not? But if I take even one step outside, they'll they're not allowed in here. Ever since I got here, they're not allowed in the safe room. They just keep on coming. Okay. I ate my last can of food yesterday, and now the soda I was taking sips from is empty too. Oh, you can't put it back in the fridge. God damn it! That sucks. Look at this guy just standing there. He's like, yeah, whatever. That's what I'm doing. No way. Yuki chan? No chan. I'm so glad you're okay. Yuki chan. I finally found you. You're safe now, alright? Mom. I know. But why are you here, Yuki-chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Nachan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. She's gonna say that again later. Oh, Yuki-chan! The magnetic shield is <laughs> He doesn't give a He doesn't give Could not approach. Oh, okay. You came back for me. Of course. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you with everything I have. <laughs> All right. To the final battle. All right. So I'm getting the impression that the ending of these stories is going to be like, um, kind of like a, almost like a second prologue where it's setting up for how, how they got into position to do the conclusion that we're going to see. Okay. So with that adjustment in my mind, let's, let's see if we can enjoy them for what they are, because that was kind of like, eh, as a finale, but it's not really the finale. It's like, there's more that's going to happen with these characters afterwards. I'm guessing that's when the battles take place, but who knows? All right. It seems like a good idea to go back and do Natsumos now. The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the sentinel pops up here. What? Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of sentinel number 17. To you, Natsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. Oh. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. 
It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot the Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. As this change comes with a price. Comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then what do we do? We cook. You'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Mountain. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be. Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As uh -oh. long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Yeah, what could go wrong? Sentinel number 17 will protect Nachan. All the processes must be performed concurrently. Nachan, it's time to activate. Okay. Oh, PJ's it, dead. It disappeared. Does that mean it worked, BJ? 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 BJ. You okay, buddy? Say something. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong. Oh my god, he did a self BJ. Okay, did he transfer himself into the Sentinel or whatever? That's kind of sad. I like BJ. Alright, so Miura seems like the best one to do now. So, I thought that BJ was Murimura, was like a copy of Murimura's consciousness. So, I guess I was wrong about that. Maybe there's a different robot that's like that, and it's just that he had the ID. Maybe when he's not connected to the Sentinel, he can't do that, but that's what I thought it was. But I guess not. Oh, did I say more Mira? I meant Mira, sorry. Th this guy. Mira. I find it I find it hard to say this guy's name. Why couldn't Miwa see the cat? Is it only people that have been shot by a magical gun or a magical gun equivalent can see the cat? Was there a point in the past when we hadn't been shot that someone could see the cat? Is there there's also different cats? Or is it like I'm I'm fairly certain that Miwa isn't real but not in the way that um the juro buddy isn't real i mean like in a way the juro buddy is more real than than miwa i feel like miwa is an npc so is it is it npcs can't see the cat miyurakun bj's gone i'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself if he's caught we'll never see him again Wait, what? So you lose him, then you get him back. Then you travel to 2025. Then he loses you. Then he's brought back again. Or is this a different part? Hmm, okay. Maybe he's being held against his will somewhere, or being held prisoner, and we need to free him. Natsuno, we need to make our intentions clear. Run around campus yelling, free BJ! Sounds like rotor blades. Are 
Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Yes. Natsuno-san's worried about you. Hikaru Miura. I've been scanning for you from overhead. Uh, is what Sekigahara said true? Undercover BJ. Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hikaru Miura. <sighs> At this point... Nothing I hear should surprise me anymore. Alright, here we go. Maybe they're gonna explain it. Maybe it's like a limited version of his consciousness because of the process the, the the smaller processor on the scout unit compared to the Sentinel. Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight your sentinel. In order to do this. I was resurrected as an AI. Yeah, there we go. Then how did your AI end up in the scout unit? There was a malfunction in the Sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. Okay, Flood. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. Uh -huh. Does Natsuno-san know? That you're me? We didn't get a chance to meet in the previous world. I'm very fond of Natsuno. Ooh. It's best that she doesn't know. She doesn't know. If you're really from the future, then you must know. What's going to happen? My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. We never travel through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? I'm an entity that used to be Miura. Before you. I located the Sentinel. I can now act. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, are we just, are we just, like, lost over that time travel, little Mira? We never traveled through time. Okay. Just all logs. So the rest of the footage is available. Trust me. Uh -huh. Before the final begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. What about the mummy? And by mummy, I mean clock. Fuck you, game. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. He knew. Oh. Man, Miura's, like, story has the most dense... dense the, the highest density of fucking bombshells, huh? Is there any other storyline that had just like almost every other one just boom 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 like like so much information from Miura? Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly seventy percent. Is this mommy? Sectors. Yeah, it is. I recognize Their the voice. Structures are similar to these colonies, so that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a residential district of the present day? Okay, so if, if Yuki and Amaguchi kept driving, would they eventually get to another one of them? I'm gonna say yes. How many how many layers of inception are we in here? What the f The decision was made to start over. From a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Okay. Before the nanomachine incidents? Uh-oh. Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back. 
I couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war. And so you shall. So this works out perfectly. Okay. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives. Oh. I'll be happy. That's interesting. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. Daimo's signature is identified. Stay calm and let the Sentinel analyze it. I know that one. It's another of those huge carriers. Uh-oh. No. It's similar, but we haven't seen this one. Probably a new model of the Terra Carrier. Looks like they've got squadrons of flying weapons. Natsuno san, get ready for anti air combat. Alright, like Spike, can we make it? Oh, I don't know if we can make it. If we even if we can make it, is it gonna kill it? I'm doing it. Nope, it didn't kill it. Alright, that'll kill it. I'll stop them. What? Alright, super large missile? I'm doing it. Did I get it? Yes! Are, are you are you friendly? Oh oh no, you're not friendly. Oh my god. Alright, not friendly at all. You know what? Let EMP. Alright, there we go. Alright, super long range missile. Alright, here we go. Here's the play. Here's the play. You ready for this play? Here's the best play you're ever gonna see in this game ever, right? Here we go. Watch this play. Watch this play, chat. Alright, we're gonna go. Boom. And then instant team cooldown. And then super long range missiles again. Boom. Gota gets leg spike on this on this dude right here. Dead. Good. Stay calm. Remember your training. Sorry, super large missile. Again. Leg spike on this guy down here. Piercing multi-lock on missiles. Alright, that seems pretty good. Let's do it. It was, in fact, not that great. Instant team cooldown again. Oh, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Oh, my God. Let's do it again. All right, and finish it off. Oh, there's a whole other one spawning. Oh, shit. I thought I was done. Oh, no. <laughs> what the f All right. Tommy, take us home. Tommy took us home. All right, so let's do Amaguchi, and then we'll do Juro and uh, Yori. Cool. So me and Karabe-kun, probably Fuyusaka too, the dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> and how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. So if we go to the event archive and we see like all events, right? So, it starts off with long distance transmission, sectors under construction, okay? And then, and then, a million years omitted from it, and then, it starts over here. Let's get you so spaced out. Dude's tall. Uh, Amiguchi, just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah, you could say that. Remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh, I actually spent those days stranded in another time. <laughs> Stuck in the future. <laughs> huh. huh, really? Me, me oh, okay. I'll go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. What's going on with you? Huh? Oh. 
You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking... Yeah, that's about what I figured. Damn, they're both telling the truth to each other and neither believes each other. <laughs> Poetry. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh, is this- Oh, it's this like Oh! Man, there's so many Leonardo DiCaprio pointing memes in, in this game. Oh, yeah! What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. <gasps> Sentinel number 20, transmitting. Is that his voice, but sentinel mode? Oh, sorry. Awkward. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. Uh... What's going on? Wait a minute. Is this the robot I saw in my dreams? Whoa, shit, this thing flies? It flies now? point looks to be Yai Machi. Did I did I tell the story on on stream yesterday? I can't remember. Of like over the weekend, I looked up that scene from from Rise of the Skywalker. I had never seen the scene, so I've seen the meme. They fly now, right? Without being like acted. All right. Um, and I thought that uh the guy who plays um Poe, like I can't I can't believe that was the delivery they went with. It was terrible. Like, it, 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 when you don't hear it, it looks like he's doing, like, a little, like, under his breath, kind of somber, like, they fly now, you know what I mean? Also, they cut out the fact that fucking 3PO says it first, too. They say it three times. Oh, they fly now. They fly now? They fly now! They fly now. What, what was that delivery, dude? I had to ask Jazz. I was like, Jazz, is, is this, like, real, or did they dub this over as a joke? <laughs> Is this a real scene from the movie? Like, yeah, it is. It's a real movie. See, I was like, God damn. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Uh oh. Notify all ministries and agencies and oh, the US pose. military. Tell them no scrambles. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Wait, how early is this? Still ascending. What's it trying to do? Uh oh. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. Who is that? Ooh. Dude, it's you. It's... Oh. Space? No way! I knew I was going up, but I can't have gone that high. Wait, how how does it have space? We can't drive 30 kilometers away, but we can go to space? Wait, hold on. Is it just is it just white dots painted on the ceiling? Shoo. Shoo. Amaguchi. Amaguchi, please. Please. Altitude reading says 2,078 meters. Poke around. You've bypassed the upper shield. Oh, damn. You are now outside the enclosure. I'm outside the wall now? So, outside that, it's just... space. What does all this mean? Helicopter can't get you into space. In 1980s, Japan it could, yeah. In, 1980, in 1980s, especially around Japan, the air was a lot thicker. And, um, the rotor blades were also, like, they were they were more beefy, they were more industrial. Um, you, you definitely could, yeah. Not anymore! Because of global warming and the ozone layer being thinned out. But before, you, you a helicopter could get you to space, yeah. I saw a lot of these huge robots in my dreams, but none of them could fly. That is Sentinel number 20. And you are its operator. Ooh. Does Yakushiji work for you? The Sentinel was never meant to be transmitted. They found us. Who's they? Intruders from another district. 
they left their origin point and came to your world. We need to hide the Sentinel. I can't do anything for you here. You have to go back to your sector. Go back how? This thing's got propellers. Whoa! We're going down! Like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. But four eyes. Oh. Uh, Alright, so is Universal Control just like sending out like a, a shit ton of like 1.2 million drinking straws minus, you know, the ca the main cast and going and slurping up all the, all the, everyone that saw the fucking like Sentinel just appear right now? Like, like w w what's going on? Cooperate with us and I can guarantee your safety. Nah. If not, you will be institutionalized. For what? I really, really hate being talked down to. Me too. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. Uh -oh. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. <laughs> no way. Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... <gasps> I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. To be continued. You know what? All right, let's do Yori. Say the line, Yori. All right, time for food bullshit hour. <gasps> this is where cute guy hangs out. The sun's already gone down. It's because you were waiting on me. Yeah. I'm sorry. Should be. Oh, let me summon him. If you think you guy three times, he shows up. Watch. Here he is. <gasps> it didn't work. Oh, time for another puzzle. Hey, where you guys want to go for food? It's getting kind of late. My dad's a worry ward. Maybe I should call home. You have a dad? Hi, dad. It's me. Uh huh. That was remarkably fast how'd it go pretty much how i thought he wants me to come home asap figures the train's probably fastest this is not how it would go by the way let me tell you exactly how the conversation would go as 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 a parent all right who has two daughters all right here's here's how that would go all right dad i'm 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 running late sorry and i'll be like okay you have to come home right now okay and then she would say why and i would say because it's late and you know you need to be home for school tomorrow why well because you have to get up for school early or else you're gonna miss your class why well it's important for you to go to school why well because then you need to study to get a job. why Th that's how that would have went what's wrong oh it's not gotta it's the bully from before he was harassing us by the school gate what's this guy's end game how is he like like in some stories? I'm really glad I'm not your son. I'm I'm really glad you're not my son either, bud. Should we go around the other way? That'd be best. Hey, <laughs> what school are you from? Oh, it's Colombo. Didn't they tell you not to roam around after dark? Whoa. What are you doing out at this hour? Um, well, we were shopping for a record and it got dark before we knew it. It's true. 76% way through the story, by the way, of 
who seems to be one of the most important characters in the whole entire story. 76%. It's dangerous for young girls like you to be out on the streets at night. If it happens again, I'll write you up. Now hurry on home. What do you mean? For what? Fuck you, old man. Does this mean you're juvenile delinquents? So cool. Why do you look so happy about it? Uh-oh. They're here too. Those guys are his buddies, right? Damn. If only we could walk into the screen. Just nowhere to go. Oh well. It is what it is. Let's make a break for the station. It can't be helped. Well, well. So we meet again. He's it must be it destiny. Come with me. I'll show you a good time. What? I know the perfect place. Watch him. Won't you see the ogre? Don't tell me. You're up to no good again. I haven't done anything yet. Run along home. Or would you rather come with me? <sighs> Damn it. Thank you so much. Let's go. You ambushed us in front of the. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> Station. And forced us into this creepy alleyway. Don't think you'll get away with this. The police are on their way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Wajima-san has something to say. What is it? I'm sorry? So listen up, will ya? All right. Hey, knock it off. You know? All my life, I've been shit out of luck when it comes to women. Until now. I'm telling you, girl. The moment I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. <laughs> Get it, Wajima-san? No! I consider myself a man who minds his own business. <gasps> Cute guy! But I can't abide by this. You need to leave those girls alone. Get out of here. Now. Who the hell are you? A cute guy. Damn, the budget. Damn it. Um, thank you. But why? Um, mere coincidence. You're lying. They must have heard the commotion. Are you guys okay? Who's oh, me, chan I got the cop. Care to explain what happened here, Wajima? How'd you get out of this mess? A really cool guy came in and saved us. Cool guy. I wonder where he is now. I might never see him again. If I don't run after him, I know I'll regret it. Even if he turns me down, I have to tell him how I feel. You don't even know him. Sorry, guys. It has to be him. Uh-oh. He's nearby. No one else is that cute. Oh, I see him! There you are. You? Were you following me? Um, I wanted to tell you something. Don't. If you're seen with me, the men in black suits will go up. Man, that sounded so much like a Zelda. Yeah, chat saying it too. That sounds so much like a Zelda song there, didn't it? Like, holy shit. After you too. Black suits? I'm being hunted. Do you get it? Now go home. Alright? Oh! So that man I saw over there. Okay, is this the end of the story? There's no way, right? I've got you now. 
Uh oh. Damn it. Let go of me. Don't even think of drawing your gun here. Watch this. Sekigahara. Just run! Forget about me! Is this girl with you? No. The hell's going on here? Perfect timing. Give me a hand. So women and children are fair game, huh? What? I don't stand for that, buddy. Yeah, the bike! So what's going on with you, Yuki? All right, built up enough static. Here we go. Let's Get go. On. Right. The girl. She seemed to be associated with the men in black. Did you recognize her? No, it was too dark. I see. You might want to hold on a little tighter. You're gonna fall. Ooh. Uh, okay. Hey, um... I know this is sudden, but... I need to tell you, I... I love you. What? What's this all of a sudden? Some kind of prank from this era? It's not a prank! I know... You already have Shinonome Senpai. It's probably awkward to hear this from me. But even if it ends up breaking my heart. Why is the music taking this seriously? Music! Cut. I'm doing the slit your throat uh, gesture. Music, what are you doing? Heart. I just needed to tell you. You know what? This this scene needs. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do 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 I needed you to know how I feel. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Ryoko-san is not my girlfriend. You are. I spent a lot of time alone back home. Parents weren't around. So she stepped in. Looked after me like a big sister. She's family to me. Middle school was a rough time for me. <laughs> I've heard a thing about love since I was a kid. Until now, that is. What? So she's not his girlfriend after all. Okay. You know, it seems the two of us are bound by fate. What would you do if I told you... I love you too. I'm an assassin from the future who came here to kill you. I thought you do it. I love you. Matter. Probably have a good reason. I would still love you. Yeah, there we go. All right. A guy whose name you don't even know. Well, cute guy. Yeah. <laughs> you feel that strongly, huh? Didn't see that coming. My name is A Sekigahara. A Sekigahara. Cute eye. Man, if I came out and, and you brought one of my kids back like that, I'd be so mad. First of all, on a motorcycle is just like, just insane. And then not, no helmet on top of that. But just, even with a helmet, what are you doing getting on a motorcycle? Like, come on. They're cool as hell, don't get me wrong. Motorcycles are cool, but it's not worth it. Alright, let's hope that, that Miwa is not in this scene, because otherwise it's gonna be... Boring as hell. The love begins. All right. Well, okay. I feel like you've been extra nice to me lately. Is this fake Miwa? Whoa! It is. Okay. Did they did they find her and she doesn't remember anything? So now she's being nice to her, maybe? Huh. What do you feel like today, Miwa-chan? 
You're about to find out. And then we have to come back and eat it, and then it loops again. Oh, it's the yakisoba stick. Master oh, of the meal, right. trophy earned. It's hot off the grill and charred just right. Are you not going to tell us what happened with your crush? We have a right to know. His name is A. Sekigahara. Sekigahara? Uh oh. Of all people. You know him, Usami chan? Well, uh, let's just say you should stay away from that guy. That guy? Why? He's not a normal high school kid. He's involved in some shady business. Here he is! Fuyusaka. Oh, Sekigahara-kun! Please say, come with me if you want to live. Please, please, please say it. Please, please say it. Come with me. Yeah! Pretty close! Iori-chan, follow your heart! <laughs> if you need to go, then go! Right. Do you still have those dreams? Huh? The premonitions you told me about. Yes. They're not actually premonitions. They're the memories of Chihiro Morimura. Our teacher? You received them in a memory transplant. Future technology does have that capability. You mean Miss Morimura is from the future? Correct. Are Amiguchi kun and Karabe kun the same? Karabe? You're acquainted with Tamao san? Tamao? No, I meant Juro Karabe from my class. Juro. So that's it. Mm. Why did I have a memory transplant? I don't know. If I had to guess? No. It's better you hear it from her directly. Hey, Sekigahara kun. Would you mind if I called you? Akun? If that's what you want. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> What's wrong? I hate this guy so much. Fuck you, dude. This world is beyond saving. Huh? This world. We can go back 16 years and try again. <gasps> All right, I'm starting to get worried that a lot of the dialogue that we heard at the very start of the game when she goes into the Sentinel isn't really going to make sense. But let's hope that it does. 16 more years should be enough time to prepare. We'll win next time. This time for sure. What about Miwa-chan? She's still here. And so are my parents. What would happen to them? They'll be attacked by the Daimos, and that'll be it. But your parents aren't real. <laughs> Chihiro Morimura came. <laughs> I'm here from Sector One. You're no different. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> They're my family. If you decide to stay here, you'll perish along with them. <sighs> I don't have a choice, do I? In that case. I'll do it. Just like in my dreams. I'll fight and protect everyone. Juro has no memory of what happened. But I expect you'll have his help. What about you? Won't you be fighting too? Ryoko-san and I... We don't have much time left. I can't afford to stay around. Oh. That's the kind of guy I am. I don't deserve your love. Well, you know what? I'll go check if Miss Morimura is here yet. Do 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 do. What do you think, Zach? I think me and Cute Guy are really getting along. I sense a real connection here, especially after we saw a CG in our coffee this morning. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful bromance. Oh, it's Katsu version. All right. Fuyusaka-san. She looks just like in my dreams. Why did you bring her here? 
to expose your secrets. She has a right to know. Man, we get significantly taller. Miss Morimura, is it true? Are my dreams really your memories? <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? If you're not gonna talk, I'll do it. You wanted to write chance. your memories and personality onto Fuyusaka, right? So you could someday take over. What? She was trying to assume your identity. Fine, I'll explain. That was my intention. But things have changed. Oh? Operation Aegis is all we have left. So then... What's going to happen to me? Well, I hadn't gotten to the final step. You'll continue on as Iori Fuyusaka. You do carry my memories within you. But even that process was left incomplete. Juro made sure of it. Thanks to him, my memories are nothing but dreams to you. You mean... the Kurabe-kun I saw in my dreams? 426. Did you perform a memory transplant on him, too? No. I have nothing to do with his current state. If it were up to me, I would have changed him back into the old Izumi-kun. The old one? Oh. Okay. Your memories just hit me. I understand how you feel. <sighs> oh, another cute guy. Is that why you transplanted the memories of Tamao Kurabe? It can't be. Tell me your real objective. I transplanted memories into Tamao Kurabe and Shu Amiguchi. I had to deliver on a promise I made. But there has to be a reason they were compatible. That's what I need to know. That's why I called you here. <sighs> Tell me. Uh, hold on. Who, who was, what was the body in the alley if she's here? Oh, gee, how long has it taken me to realize that? Was it just like another body on my own? Like the truth is, I am no longer human. Uh oh. When the reset occurred, the world that I was in was taken over. At that time, the real me died. Then what are you now? Robot. An illusion produced by universal control. Uh oh. That's all that's left of me. Whoa. Your hologram? Isn't Sector Zero supposed to prevent that? Going there allows you to escape to the next world. Oh. The concept of living through a reset is something of a misunderstanding. In short, it's not possible. And yet. Sector Zero is unique. Going there is not akin to a typical sector shift. Instead, it scanned me in as data. And with that data, Universal Control did its work. It created a perfect replica of me in the next world. There are 15 humans capable of carrying out the plan. What plan? The plan made in the year 2188 to continue the species. But I'm no longer a part. I'm nothing but a doll held captive in the five sectors. I'm incapable of fulfilling my mission. So you turn to the version of you who was born into this world. Iori Fuyusaka. In time, she and you would be one and the same. That's how you plan to reclaim your humanity. Seki Gohara-kun. I gather you intended to make use of Sector Zero as well. You would be correct. And you planned to put a stop to Operation Aegis, didn't you? Yes. By killing you. Huh? Are you going to shoot me right here and now? Oh, maybe, maybe it's gonna happen now. All right. You can't do that. <laughs> if Operation Aegis were put into motion. No, it can't be because the reason why we go to the school and meet her to begin. Wait, hold on. Did did we see before? Maybe we met before then. Never mind. Never mind. This world would be cut off from universal control. What would become of you then? Data stored in Sector Zero can function independently of UC. In other words, you'll continue to live, human or not. So that's the way it is. Ryoko-san and I, 
we never had a way out in the first place. Icon! The game was rigged right from the start. Boomfy jump scare, what the hell? Hey Kun, I'll protect you. Let's do this together. Together. If only I had the courage to take your hand. That would have been for the best. I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large, unidentified object has crash-landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumicho, destroying everything in its path. Say the line, Yori! A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. It really came. The day of the attack. Only one thing left to do. Lift up my skirt. A consentinel. Number 15. Akun, wait! First you show up at school all of a sudden. And then you pull me away to a place like this? Stay still. Huh? What? Um... Uh, um... I'm not ready for this. Found it. Oh man, he's Hot a pro. Place oh. to be shot. Whoa. What is that? An activation switch. It's used to call your sentinel. Don't. Okay, that's clearly below her skirt enough that she doesn't need to lift the line to 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 get it. Come on. Move. That should do it. If what four two six said is true. That's all I need to do. I registered my sentinel. Sentinel number 15. I really was worthless in the end. Don't say that. Wait. Fuyusaka, I... Huh? Never mind. It's nothing. Believe in yourself. <gasps> Akun. Just as Akun said, I'm going to believe in myself now. Mom, Dad, Miwa-chan, and the rest. They're not real. I can do it. Okay. I can protect you all. It's time. And then, immediately after, oh, where did my clothes go? I be just a schoolgirl. But now, I'm a schoolgirl with a giant robot. Maybe just a schoolgirl, but now I'm a schoolgirl with a giant robot. All right. Where did my clothes go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is serious music. Uh-oh. I have something to report to you all. What is it? Uh, finally. Is this processing stuff done yet? It's well over 90% processed. We're so close. But there's a problem. As some of you may know, I'm working from the command ship in orbit. The what? Unfortunately, it's still on that orbital path. Soon I'll be too far from your location. I'll lose signal, and I won't be able to communicate. And when that happens, the mainframe processing will be suspended. Uh-oh. It'll be another 850 minutes before I come back from a full orbit. Until I can re-establish a connection, you have to hold on. But that's just over 14 hours. We have to hold out until tomorrow afternoon? Please don't give up hope. 
Until I get cut off, I promise I'll do everything I can. This is insane. Have you seen how fast new ones keep appearing? There's no way we can fend them off for that long. Okay. <sighs> I smell bullshit. Say, as long as you're still here, maybe you could sing for us? All right. As long as you can hear my voice, you'll know I'm still connected. No, how about you just focus all of your energy on getting the mainframe done before you're out of range instead of fucking sing- Punch to the forehead, my kick like a warhead. I'll be on Queen of the Sprawl, and I'll own you all. I don't wanna hide it, and no one decided. it. I love you, Mom. Since the Twin Tail X attacks with thermal missiles that can melt even a Sentinel's armor, it's best to intercept or dodge their attacks, alright? Missiles, main battery, uh, missile rain? I don't think missile rain is going to be very good. Yeah, okay. Okay. Can, you, can you imagine like Amaguchi in a cell right now, just vibing, just ju just jamming in there, just like it works. She's singing, yeah. Okay, you know what? We need to get Iori, you know, also known as the hardest hitter in the whole entire squad, to the front lines. Quickly, Iori, get there. Can't believe I'm saying that. You need to go over there and hit this thing. Quickly, go. Wait, Amaguchi's gonna be able to dodge that, right? Right? Like that, that that's enough time for Amaguchi to, oh, he's not even in it. Oh wait, is he? Oh shit. You know what, this will, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We're, we're Amaguchi, all right, we're good. Amaguchi, there we go. Okay, what, what what the fuck is going on around it right now? What what is this shit? Is this is this friendly explosions? Did we do this? What 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 is this? This doesn't seem friendly to me. I don't I don't know I don't know what that means. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Super long range missiles. We can take down these guys. All right, it's going pretty well actually. I hate having this power. All right, so oh, now I can get in. All right, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit, shit's going. Where, where are they go? Oh, they're going here. Oh shit, Yuki, Yuki, we need to get the fuck out of here. Yuki, 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 we need to go right now. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to. We're okay. I know what to do. Quick, 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 quick. Instant steam tool down. All right, Yuki. Oh, oh, oh damn! All right, GG. Deeds, Yuri has done nothing. Here you go, Yuri. Yay! All right. Easy peasy. Well, sounds like she's gone. <sighs> Would you losers lighten up already? Everyone's acting like we already lost this. Um, she's right. This fight isn't over yet. If we do our best, I know we can pull through. 14 hours, though? <laughs> That's nuts. 
one for every sentinel. Hell, we might be about to set a new record. We're gonna do Juro. Yeah, Shibakun's not actually human. Uh oh. And not only that, he can hear me right now. He's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. Yeah. I know I'm the only one who can see you. Hmm. So it wasn't fully wiped. Damn. I guess mind hacking has its limits. Why did you give me Juro Izumi's memories? Are you trying to turn me back into him? Don't worry about it. You were never meant to be this way in the first place. Yeah, kind of true, right? What exactly are you? 48Q. QTA, CBA. I already told you. I'm an artificial personality. That doesn't mean anything to me. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Shino Noe Senpai? Please wake up. <sighs> Shoes on. Yeah. Izumi kun. No. Don't you remember? I'm Juro Kurabe. Kurabe. Please help me. It's Shibakun. He's been messing with my memories and replacing them with Juro Izumi's. Izumi kuns? That's odd. According to Morimura, his memories were lost for good. Miss Morimura? Our teacher? I'm talking about Shibakun. Who is Shibakun? Q Tashiba. He called himself Personality 48Q. I'm the only one who can see him. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. Am I going to disappear? Hope so. What were your dreams like? I went around killing students one by one. Izumi kun did that? It can't be. There's no way he would do such a thing. Fuyasaka san and I went back to the past. We bombed the facility that was said to be the source of it all. But the police caught us, and we ended up in a shootout. With Iori Fuyusaka? It's kind, of, it's kind of tragically hilarious that they were doing this shit not realizing that they weren't even time traveling. Yes, let's go, we'll do it. Huh? Why didn't it work? <laughs> Shibakun gives me memories on videotape. Can you see them? Videotape? Fuyasaka-san told me they're all real events from the future. Like what? Ooh, visitor from another world. How did it look, Jiro? Hmm. How do I say this? Shit's fucked. Not good. Yep. This machine only lets us travel to specific time periods. All of which are under attack by the invaders. Why are they showing up in the past? <sighs> I have no idea. What do you think, Tsukasa kun Does Okino know? Hmm. We have no record of such an invasion occurring back then. No. You're right. Or pretending. It was just last year that we were invaded. Maybe something weird happened when they arrived. It could have caused reality to split into parallel universes. We know that kaiju technology allows for time travel. It's not hard to believe that would impact the future in some way. Hold on. Man, if I didn't know right now and I, I was here, I would be like, I would be lapping this shit up. An earthquake. A big one. This is bad. This is bad. All right, we're rapidly approaching like almost any word or phrase can get a meme reaction out of it. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> countdown. Oh yeah, the it's countdown. Zero. I remember the countdown. Don't tell me. The shaking is. It's time. 
Look at this. Look. We're rapidly losing contact with zones of the UFO. The very Earth's crust is crumbling. This is an unprecedented disaster. Several areas now report an elevation of below sea level. Is it sinking into the ocean? At this rate, we'll be going down too. So this is what the countdown was for. It may not be possible to survive this. We have no choice. We must seek refuge in the past. This will need a timer. When it's all set, I'll join you. Please, get to the device. All right. I've got it. Sector Zero. I don't know what year that is. Uh-oh. But it's the only destination we can access right now. takasa get over here, now! I can't. It's not letting me set a timer. I'll need to operate it manually. Go on without me. takasa I saw the signs in town. We're in 2089 now. What? We traveled 16 years back in time. I see. So that's why. Look over there. This isn't Sector Zero. This is a different scene? No wonder Century Tower isn't there. Hmm. No, it the scene... Built until 2100. Okay, this is the beginning. Okay, maybe if you go to Sector Zero you you don't get to see sector zero maybe sector zero is kind of like like returning to like the mainframe or whatever so as soon as you get sent to sector zero like you might be stored there for a while but to your perception of time you go to sector zero and you're immediately sent back to your original timeline your original the, the beginning of the of the new loop and to you it would be like instant that's my read on this right now. The invasion's going to happen again in 15 years. We need to warn everyone about it. Will they even believe us? All we can do is try. And if they don't... <sighs> we'll take matters into our own hands. No one else knows what's coming. It has to be us. We can save Okinokun. All we need to do is travel through time again. I can't say it's impossible. But if we're ever going to do that, we need to make it through today. Let's find ourselves some food and a place to sleep. Yakisoba Pond. From there, the two of us spent the next few years together, living in society's shadows. Huh. How many pills did you take throughout the story, Ryoko? Stay away from me. <sighs> that incident you just described. It's not one of your lost memories. If it involved rewinding time 16 years with Morimura, then it must have been him. Who? He's a time traveler. He's gone back in time over and over again. A time traveler? That's crazy. Can 426 be divided by 16? 426 divided by 16. Nope, it can't. His name is Juro Izumi. Does that mean he's me from the future? No, it's a different Juro Izumi. Oh, how many are there? From a lost world. Oh, okay. Stay back. I was told he's incredibly dangerous. I hate that this makes sense to me. So that means. My dreams are memories of a lost world? And Shibakun is that world's Juro Izumi? Yes. That man has nothing but his consciousness left. He transferred himself into an android and fled. <laughs> oh my. Looks like Senpai isn't feeling so good. Shibakun! Man, you've sure got a big mouth. Ryoko Shinonome is a freaking weirdo. True. If you really want to take her word for it, you'll have to face the consequences. He's making some good points right now. Uh-oh. 
Thoughts on the game? I really like it. I still really like it. Um, it's lost me in a couple parts, but now that I understand, I thought that the that the finales of the stories were going to be more interesting, but now that I realize that it's it's more it's more setup instead of payoff. Some of them have payoff, but now that I realize it's more setup for the like the final thing, then um, I'm I'm more in tune with it. I think that my biggest criticism is going to be that there should have been fewer chapters with each character. We really didn't need to have, oh, back in the track and field room, one, two, three, four times. Oh, now we're back in the track and field room again. Six times. Oh, back in the track and field room again. Six times. Believe it or not, we're back in the track and field room. I feel like they really could have um, whittled this down to, honestly, probably four rock solid entries for each character. And that would, that would have been enough. I also think that there possibly should have been more locks, so you have to view things in a, in a more curated order. Not not entirely linear, like don't don't get me wrong, not entirely, but I think maybe a couple more locks might have been better. But um, I don't know if I got lucky or not when it came to understanding it. So the, I'm 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 saying this out of a potential for a problem. I haven't had a a problem, but I could see someone having a problem, possibly. I like that you can see things in different in different orders and have a different experience, but I do think that maybe there's a there's a couple bad paths that you could take. But again, I'm sp I didn't get one. I don't think I got a bad path. So I am speaking out of just speculation here. It would be hellish to figure out if there is a bad path. It, it, like if if you ever want to sound really really authoritative with any anything you criticize, the two that you can always go to is that or three that you can always go to is that this really needs an editor the character arcs are well defined or aren't well defined or are barely present like hello where's your character arcs and um depending on if it's a if it's a movie this should have been 20 minutes shorter or uh if it's a tv show this should have been three episodes shorter you know stuff like that if you you can just throw things like that out without qualifying the statements at all and you you sound like more that you know what you're talking about you know so yeah it says a lot about society yes yeah, a lot about society yeah i'm sure there are things that people have said you know this this really needs an editor that has received a absolute shit ton of editing and they don't know because how would they possibly know and they just assume that editing is like this this magical thing that you know you just you just send what you've made off to the editor land and the editor will look at it and put their glasses on and have an anime moment and go huh i see what's wrong with this here we go kid oh thank you magical editor it's so much better now here we go yay and everyone just doesn't do that and that's why things are shit like yeah okay whatever so they introduce time travel, it's a central part of the story for a while, and then they say, Lamayo, it's actually not, and then in like two scenes say they're like, you know what, there is time travel, but in a different way. Meta prize. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I hope you're watching, Fluffy. <laughs> oh no! No, just oofy boofy out of nowhere! Just oofy boofy off the side of the fucking screen! Are you fucking serious? Oh, what the hell is going on over? Oh no! Oh shit! Can we EMP that? What the fuck are you guys? What's this shit? All right, hold on one second. Oh man, this is really bad. All right, this this feels impossible. I don't know what the best move is here. There, like, there's no good option anywhere I look. You're supposed to lose this, right? There's no way. 